Okay, now let's have a look at our first example over here. Let's, uh, the first thing we need to do, the first thing, the first step, is to find the type of triangle. Okay, so to find the type of triangle, whether it's SAA, ASS, um, um, SAS, so first we need to look at the data we have. We have two angles and we have one side. So I'm going to write down, we have two angles and we have one side. So now the arrangement of this is important. Does the S come between the two A's or does it come before or after? It comes in between if uh, the side is submerged between two angles. So is that the case over here? There are two angles here and this side is not adjacent to both these angles at the same time. Which means that this angle could be um, set as the AAS type. AAS or the SAA. But the technical terminology would be AAS. Okay, so for AAS, um, you would know. We looked at the table before, we have to use the sign rule. Okay, first, um, let's write the actual sign rule before we do anything. So here, in this case, it would be sign A over A because we're given the angle A and its direct opposite, which is small a, is equal to sine C over small c. We're given the angle C, but we're not given the um, side C. Okay, so now we want to, the, what we're looking for is the side C. So let's substitute all the other values inside first. So to be sine 36 over 46 is equal to sine 68 over C. So now let's do um, cross multiplication to leave C on one side. So to be C sine 36 is equal to 46 sine 68 which makes the side C is equal to 46 sine 68 over sine 36. So now let's plug that into our calculator which gives us 72.56 centimeters. 72.56 centimeters. So this is one uh, application of the sine rule. Now, let's look at a case where we have to apply the cosine rule. 